the branches of philosophy, ultimate step by the kind of philosophical problem. So there are a lot of problems about philosophy. So it makes uh, analysis of uh, branches in philosophy. We have issue of being. And then we will have uh, branch. And then issue of knowledge, all right. And then the issue of values. So there are a lot of problems with this. Then we get a branches of philosophy. Okay. And then it's, uh, issues of philosophy. What kind of issue? Issues of philosophy. So we have metaphysics. Epistemology, logic, ethic, and aesthetics. Okay? And then school of philosophy, because you know in the question of being. Then we have in the school of philosophy. And then it's also the matter of knowledge. Then we have the school of philosophy. And then of course about values. Then we have the school of philosophy. I think there are a lot of soul in the philosophy, but last week I just say the reason why uh, it were the school of philosophy. The question of being, the question of knowledge, the questions of values, then we will have a lot of soul. No, we are going to continue this uh, problem. Philosophy and science, known in the West, today originate from ancient Greece. Ancient Greece, because according to the culture in ancient Greece, there were theory and uh, mind and thing. But in uh, Roman Hellenist, talking about uh, practice and engineering. So here in the West, uh, originate from ancient Greece, so a lot of thinking and also uh, theory, okay? So philosophy and science are intertwined into one because before I told you that philosophy and science are identical. Today I say that philosophy and science are intertwined into one. So I think it's almost the same. Both are included in the definition of episteme. Okay. Episteme, an organized body of rational knowledge with a proper object. Okay. The body of rational knowledge. with the proper object. What kind of object do you talk about? Then you will have a uh, rational knowledge how to get that object. Okay? So it is epistemy. Now Aristotle thought that epistemy, rational knowledge, can be divided into three parts, namely practice. It is practical knowledge. Poetique, productive knowledge, and theoretique, theoretical knowledge. So we have to make a theory about knowledge, and then we practice it, and then we product it okay so uh, in 
in Russia, I always say that our study program must be have three paradigm, three paradigm that is experiment like in physics and then uh, theory like in the mathematics and then last one is rekayasa uh, or engineering or product something like a program or system of information and so on and so on so here i think it's very very important for us because i hope that uh common science have this this uh part practice poetic theoretic you have to make a theory about your program or your computation or whatever that you use the computer and you know theory about uh, robot and so on and so on and so on. After then, then you have to practice it or make it an experiment. It is work or not. If it work, then you have to produce this and use by the people, okay, in office or whatever is it, okay. Then uh, Aristotle's also uh, divided theoretic into three: mathematic, physic, and prote philosophy. Okay, mathematike, physike, and prote philosophia, or first philosophy. Okay, so this is the idea of Aristotle. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to repeat all about philosophy. Originally, philosophy comes the word from Greek, that is philosophia, which is translated as love wisdom. Furthermore, the notion of Sophia become not only wisdom, but include the first truth, throughout knowledge, intellectual virtue, sound reasoning, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay. Now we have a Pythagorean philosophy. Pythagorean philosophy. Okay. He, what do you mean by he? he Pythagoras. Okay. Name, uh, person who say who, uh, the name is Pythagoras first introduced the term philosophia. Okay, he 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 mean Pythagoras Pythagoras. Okay, so Pythagoras first introduced the term philosophia. The founded the philosophy of Pythagoras. Uh, he, he founded, he, Pythagoras, founded the philosophy of Pythagoreanism, which put forward a metaphysical teaching that number, number is the essence of all things. Number is the essence of all things and the basic basis of the nature of things. This is what Pythagoras say. Okay. All natural phenomena, according to these teachings, are sensory expression of mathematical comparison. Sensory expression of mathematical comparison. In Indonesia, we call pengkapan indrawi dari perpanjangan matematika. 
because you know uh, tell of Pythagoras Pythagoras a square plus b square equal c square hey, remember that and then see we have also another philosophy we call it universal universal school of philosophy or the school of philosophy of the universe in Indonesia, we call it Aliran Filsafat Alam Semesta. As I told you that there are a lot of souls. Okay, so I give you another school that we call it the soul of philosophy of the universe. Okay. According to the author of the history of philosophy, as the father of philosophy, Thales, according to Thales, he, Thales, founded the soul of philosophy of the universe or cosmos in Greek. So in Greek, we call it cosmos. Okay, so this school is founded by Thales. Okay. The philosophy of cosmos, known as cosmology, questions what single element is the basis of for change or to shape the universe. So, so what single elements? Single elements: water, air or soil or whatever is it okay is the basis for change or to shape the universe the answer of philosophers are different namely that some say water some say fire some say soil some say air Okay, according to this school, which was founded by Thales, philosophy is a study of the universe to find out its origin, its element, and its rules. Okay, according to this school, what kind of school? The school of philosophy of the universe founded by Thales, okay? This cosmic philosophy, they are opinion, namely, this another, another philosopher, philosoph, uh, another philosopher uh, uh, comment about this. Socrates, he thought that knowledge is virtue, and virtue is happiness. Okay. So he said that philosophy is a reflexive self-examination or reflection on the principle of a fair and happy life. So Socrates comment about cosmic philosophy. Philosophy is a reflexive self-examination or reflection on the principle of a fair and happy life. Okay. And then Plato, philosophy is a speculative search or sensitivity. So that Plato's philosophy is classified as speculative philosophy. Why that Plato's philosophy classified as speculative philosophy? Because according to Plato, philosophy is a speculative search or sensitivity in 
Indonesia we call it perekaan sensitivity to view of all truth so for all truth then you make some sort of speculation or sensitivity in Indonesia we call perekaan to pireka to pireka then we call it this philosophy is a speculative philosophy okay because uh, you just view of all truth and then you make some sort of sensitivity or prekaan then we have a speculative philosophy okay this is plato and then aristotle's arches sophia is the highest intellectual virtue so sophia is the highest intellectual virtue while philosophia is the equivalent of the word episteme in the sense of in the sense of a regular set of rational knowledge about a suitable object. I told you in the above slide. He, Aristotle, gave two kind of division for protest philosophia, the first philosophy, namely as the science of the first principle and as the study of existence as existence or in Indonesia we call it ada as peradaan you have to make it ada okay and the characteristic belonging to the object by virtue of its own nature okay so according to Aristotle, Aristotle, something like this. So, philosophia is called metaphysic. This is the technical meaning of speculative philosophy. So, it's according to Aristotle, because Aristotle, I think, the, what, uh, Uh, Plato, he actually he uh, uh, student from Plato, and then Plato from Socrates. Okay. And also a philosophy of Stoicism. Stoic, Stoic. Sim. Okay, this philosophy emerged after the birth of the ancient Roman Roman Empire. Okay, which philosophers were seeking to find rational principle that link the universe and human life in a single logical roundness. So, universe and human life linked together to be a one logical, a single logical, to make it as a single logical okay, universe and human life. Okay? Opinion of Marcus. This is the comment. The comment about this uh, philosophy. Opinion of Marcus Tullius Cicero. Cicero. He said, the philosophy is the mother of all knowledge. The mother of all knowledge. You know, because so 
he says some image which will super verse can to find rational and link the nature and the the universe and human life so universe and human life must be one okay that's why Cicero said that philosophy is the mother of all knowledge. He wrote the book, The Natura Theorum. And he, Cicero, defined philosophy as art fide, the art of life, which can be defined as knowledge of life. Okay, so because uh, Stoicism philosophy link the universe and human life. So all together, according to Cicero, must be the art of Vite, that is knowledge of life. Okay, so this is the comment from Marcus Tolius Cicero. Okay. So basically, philosophic question, a problem related to nature and human life. Okay, related to nature and human life, universe and human life. Same thing, I think. Pre Socrates philosophy, this is another philosophy. In ancient Greece, struggle with natural speculation. Okay. Pre Socrates philosophy, struggle with natural speculation. Philosophers like Thales, Parmenides, and Heraclitus were more concerned about the properties of nature and what underlies nature. This question then developed into a metaphysical question with the emergence of Aristotle. Remember Aristotle in the uh, above slide? Physical thing in the ancient sense mean power or natural forces. So physical in the ancient sense, in the ancient sense mean power of natural forces. This philosophy in the early days was scientific because it questioned the characteristic of nature. Here, yeah, philosophy in the era this was scientific. See the properties of nature. See? Because it questioned the characteristic of nature. That is concerned about the properties of nature and what underlies nature. Okay, so that's why the philosophy in the hierarchies was scientific. Okay, because it questioned the characteristic of nature, that is more concerned about the properties of nature and what underlies nature. At that time, science was not yet experimental. Okay, so the philosophy was called natural philosophy because in that time was not yet experiments. Okay. No, I think it's a, it's a I will uh, explain uh, column by column, okay? And then I give a page number, page number, because I copy or I read from 
the book by Te Liangi, Introduction to uh, Philosophy of Science. Okay, I read from that, then I make this column, and then I get, for instance, Thales Cosmology in page three. Okay. Also in page four, in, in page five. Okay, Aristotle, Metaphysic, I read from page seven, and so on, and so on. So I read it all. No, in page three, Thales, column one, philosophy, column one. The flow of philosophy of cosmology that question the origin, nature, and composition nature of the universe. Okay, so Thales tried to answer the question, the origin, nature, and composition structure of the universe. What is the origin of the universe? What is nature of the universe? What is the composition structure of uh, the universe? And then Thales got a philosophy of cosmology. According to Thales, everything comes from water. Okay. So, sensitivity, Thales believe that the universe comes from water as a basic cosmic material. Okay. He is the father of deductive reasoning. What is deductive reasoning? I, I will tell you next. Page 5, Pythagoras, column 3, Mathematics. As a thinker and mathematician who proposed a metaphysical teaching that number are the essence of all objects and the basic basis of the properties of matter. I told you before, we, we have philosophy of Pythagoreanism. Okay, in the above slide. Okay, Pythagoras. Okay. Pythagoras uh, have the philosophy of Pythagora, uh, Pythagoreanism. Pythagoreanism. Okay. He said that number are the essence of all objects and the basic basis of the properties of matter. He said that number rule the universe. He, Pythagoras, regarded himself as a philosopher, which mean, which mean not lovers of wisdom. This etymologically and briefly simple, philosophy is interpreted as love of wisdom, according to Pythagoras. Okay. Pythagoras argued that mathematics is a tool. Mathematics is a tool for philosophical understanding. Okay, Pythagoras. To remember uh, the rule of Pythagoras. A square plus B square equal to C square. Train at uh, Skitika, okay, strangers. And this opinion is supported by philosopher Plato. Do you believe it? That mathematics is a tool. Okay, is a tool for philosophical understanding. Okay.
Five, Plato, Columban, philosophy. I said that philosophers are lover of the view of truth, while philosophy is a citation or speculative search for insight into the whole truth. So Plato's philosophy is called speculative philosophy. Okay, I told you before. Aristotle, Aristotle's Columban, philosophy for logic. A student from Plato, he, Aristotle, is a student from Plato, and Plato is a student of, uh, what is it? Student of Socrates. Uh, okay. So Aristotle's a student from Plato, Plato a student from Socrates. Compile a conception of the division of rational knowledge as can be read in slide number six. Aristotle number six, please look at slide number six. Because Aristotle's divide it by three part. Okay. Pratike, Prasike, and and okay, remember in the first uh in slide number six, I already told you that Aristotle divide three parts. Okay. Is aside from being a philosopher, Aristotle was also a scientist who studied biology, psychology, and politics. He also pioneered the field of knowledge analytic and dialectic. Okay, so Aristotle's very, very important person because you know he start from logic okay so that's why he also a scientist okay he also a pioneer in the field of knowledge analytic and dialectic where analytic stem from true premises Please see logic in the uh, informatica logica, logic informatic. While dialectic is based on hypothetical hypotheses that are uncertain in truth. Please, uh, if you study about uh, informatica logica, then you will get this in the different name. Knowledge analytic named by proof, but dialectic, another name is deductive. Please see in the book of logic by Berger. You can see that in that book. Okay, so I try to link what happened in this philosophy and what happened in informatica logica. Okay, here he say that. Field of knowledge, analytic and dialectic, where analytics stem from true premises. In the logic informatica, we call an argument. Okay, you can find it now. In the first, in the first column, philosophy start from. Alice talking about cosmos 
and then he get he got cosmology also Parmenides Heraclitus and then from Thales he get Plato yeah, Plato in Plato we uh, have uh, speculative philosophy and then Aristoteles and so on and so on and so on philosophy basically question issues related to nature and human life please see page number three Te Liangi the philosophy of the universe developed in the direction of cosmology and then led to speculative philosophy. Please see page number five, Te Liangi. Okay, so you can read it very carefully. Speculative philosophy, a receptive search for a view of the whole truth. Okay. Searching for harmony between human and the universe, then we get can be achieved by the guidance of reason that follows the natural laws, law of logos as the intellect of the universe. Cicero say that philosophy as art vitae or the art of life. See Tail Yangi, page number nine. In the Middle Ages, I guess knowledge, logical ministers, philosophy is a mean of established truth about God that can be reached by human reason by Andy W. Johnston Jr. It edition what is philosophy page number four. That is philosophy is mean to establish truth about God that can be reached by human reason. Remember, mythology, uh, rationalism, the first, and then theology, and then rationalism, second. Remember that? This is what I told you. Okay, so in the field, in the in the Middle Ages, we uh, we have a theological uh, state. Philosophy is a mean to establish truth about God that can be reached by human reason. So this is reason. Remember the characters. The person all can, okay, can and forget. You can see what I told you in the first lecture or second lecture, okay. And then in modern era, philosophy developed into two parts: natural philosophy, relating natural object and event and moral philosophy, mental and moral philosophy concerning ethic, politic, philosophy, page number nine, uh, William Alfred Knill, philosophy, okay. And then uh, in, uh, what is it? 18th century and then in 20th century analytic philosophy and then we have the philosophy of science the second science from Thales talking about astronomy and physics 
Epistemi or rational knowledge include philosophy and science. Physics is the theoretical knowledge that studies nature, and this knowledge became known as natural philosophy. Okay, natural philosophy. See, because at the time there is no experiment. Okay. And then Renaissance era, Galileo Bacon. From that, from this time, they have uh, an experimental method. Okay. So nature philosophy, they don't use experiment. Then after experimental method got in. Renaissance era, then uh, natural philosophy become a natural science. The figure of Galileo, Galileo, Franz Bacon is a reformer figure, reformer figure, which was continued in the next century by René Descartes, Isaac Newton, introduced mathematical and experimental method to study nature. Here, okay, introduced mathematical and experimental method to study nature. So, nature philosophy which is not actually philosophy, but knowledge and is called nature science. Okay? Nature science. Okay. In uh, 18th century, Newton formulated the gravity theory of mechanical principle written in Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica, and then Philosophia Naturalis to be a uh, physic. Okay. So in the uh, 20th century, first new senses emerge, something like biology, social and so on and so on so we arrive at the philosophy of science and then in uh, the mathematics start from Thales because Thales uh, studied about geometry he also has a father of deductive. Thales argues that the moon sign because it reflects sunlight. Calculate the occurrence of solar eclipses, prove that all of the geometrical propositions are based on deductive reasoning. Yeah. This is a talus. Okay. Talus say that the moon shines because it reflects sunlight. So the moon uh, has something like uh, the earth, something like that. Okay. So because they are sunlight, then moon will signs. Okay. He tried to calculate the occurrence of solar eclipses, but I never read or I never see that how did Thales calculate the occurrences of solar eclipses maybe use a computer <laughs> i don't know 
because I never find out the story about Dallas who calculated the occurrence of solar eclipses. Proof that all of the two meter version are based on deductive reasoning. Okay. And then Pythagoras. Pythagoras stated that number are the essence of all objects and the basic basis of the truth of matter. The argument number rules the universe. He also stated that mathematics is the mean or tool for philosophical setting. Okay. And then in modern era, 17th century, Zeno, I think Zeno is a very, very important person, I think. In his paradoxal dialogue and courtes, the emergence of infinitesimal limits, infinite series, the process of convergent processes, on the other hand, algebraic method, symbolism, technique, set theory, etc., etc. So I think it's very important in uh, studying about mathematics, Zeno. Okay, because you know, limit is very important. Infinitesimal is also in infinite series, so on and so on. Okay. okay. For instance, if you try to to calculate e. Uh, powered by x and then if you try to calculate e uh, what is it power of pankat x then you have to use infinite series. Remember, if you try to find out the value of two uh, power x, then you have to use infinite series okay remember that if you study about mathematics so i think it's very important infinite series okay <clears throat> and then process of converging processes so process emerging processes, you know, uh, to go to a special point, converts to special point. For instance, uh, what's it? Limit a power x for x uh, to zero, then you will have one. See, in uh, mathematics, <clears throat> set theory I think very important because you have a group and so on. We have a, a Boolean algebra and so on and so on. It comes from the word, from set theory. And then in uh, 20th century, various branches of mathematics, mathematical figure appear, Descartes, Leibniz, uh, Acomte, Henry Poincare, Whitehead, Pierre Russell, and so on and so on. Then we have an, a philosophy of science. Then mathematics is the language of science. Is it true? 
Mathematics is the language of science, but before mathematics is a tool for philosophical understanding. Mm -hmm. Mathematics is for the mathematics, science for science sometimes. So please, uh, you can imagine this. And then this last column, logic, Aristotle's logic, a field of knowledge that studies all principles, rules, and procedure for correct reasoning. Reasoning, the process of human thought that attempt to arrive at a new statement which is a sequel to the continuation of another known statement. A known statement is called premise, while the new statement derived is called a conclusion. I will give you an example about this, and we call it as, as an original logic, analytic logic in the next next slide okay so non statement is called premise so you have a lot of statement one two three four we call it premises after that premises then you will get a conclusion and then this is the new statement derived from the premises that I told you before. Okay. Ancient Roman time logic. Aristotle include, included the understanding of logic as a mandatory lesson in education for free citizen. As soon as this knowledge of logic changes, it's named with rational logic. Mm. We have a traditional logic. It's quite different with the modern logic. Okay. Tradition logic, uh, uh, you say that if, if in the time I am in Surabaya, not in Jakarta, then if something happened in Jakarta, in Jakarta in the time, then I'm not as a witness. Because, you know, from premise that I am in Surabaya in that time. So I conclude that it is impossible for me as a witness in that accident in Jakarta. Because in that time, I'm not in Jogjakarta, but in Surabaya. So the premise is I am in Jogjakarta in that time. So I conclude that I am, it is impossible for me as a witness in that accident. Okay, so something like that, a traditional logic, but human logic is quite different. So, just pull Augustus, August, August the Morgan, Gottlob Frege, art of work into modern logic. You remember? Uh, Pull algebra. Okay, pull algebra. So modern logic originally include increased symbolic logic, including theontic logic, multivalent logic, intuitionistic logic. And various non-standard logic system also appear in logic of logic computer computer program. Okay. So uh, you will get this more detail in uh, uh, lecture about 
informática lógica. Okay. You will get some sort of model logic. Okay, so I think uh, theontic logic, multifield logic, intuitionist logic is uh, sub logic of model logic. Part of model logic. Okay. <clears throat> So, understand the philosophy, original understanding. I all, I have, I, uh, I told you it before. So, from Arabic philosophy, from English philosophy, and so on, so on, so on. And then, then philosophy Pythagoras, philosophy Pythagoranism. He considered himself philosophos and so on, number rule the universe, philosophos universe, cosmos, talus and so on. Okay, this is Plato's opinion. Plato's opinion, and then Aristoteles is disciple of Plato, and according to him, Sophia is the action of Plato. And so on, I think it's very uh, the same what I told you before. Okay. He, Aristotle, provides two kinds of division of prote philosophia or the first philosophy, namely the science of the first principle and as a position that implicates as a state and so on, the same as before. So there are many schools of philosophy, okay, such as philosophy of Stoicism, the philosophy of empiricism, the school of objective idealism, the school of realistic philosophy, the school of everyday language priest philosophy, the school of Jacques Martin Thomism philosophy. So there are a lot of school. So actually, many opinions were expressed by philosophers at Aristotle. So there is a list of the philosophers who have the, their opinion about philosophy. Francis Bacon, Christian von Wolff, First Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, and so on and so on. So there is the list of philosophers who have the opinion. So there are many opinions because there are many philosophers that they have their own opinion about philosophy. Okay? And you have to read it carefully and then make all of that and then you will have the conclusion. Yes, the philosophy is blah, 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 blah. Okay? And much more, each of them sees from one of the main question, problem, emphasis, facet, goal, or method adopted by a philosopher or something of the school of philosophy. Okay, so from the above understanding, philosophy has a very general meaning which in essence six mental primacy. Okay, so because there are a lot of philosopher have their own opinion but if you try to imagine to make it a very very uh, carefully then according to this book from the above understanding philosophy has a very has a very general meaning which in essence six mental primacy in Indonesia, Gautamaan. 
Oke. Okay. Note the in classic Greek nature and Roman Hellenic culture, namely Roman Hellenistic culture underwent technological and experimental development, as I told you before. Classical Greek culture is closer to thinking and theo theorizing. Okay. Classical Greek culture is closer to thinking and theorizing that is adopted by the Western uh, philosophy in the West. Okay. Before I told you thinking and theorizing. Here Rappaport confess the divine philosophy as the search for truth in any field by rational mean. The search for truth in any field by rational means. Which might be limited to deductive logic or might be extended to include empirical scientific investigation. This is what Rappaport, Rappaport conveys. And we define the philosophy of X, the philosophy of X as the study of the fundamental assumption and main goal of any discipline X. So if we are talking about philosophy of computer science, then, then what is the study of the fundamental assumption and main goal of computer science? Okay, so we have to know about the fundamental assumption and main goals of computer science. Then from that, you will get philosophy of computer science. Okay, this is according to Rappaport. Okay. Here, X is thing like science, physiology, histo history, uh, computer science, biology, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, so from here, you will get that. Now, the philosophy uh, of science, according to Te Liangi, in his book, Philosophy of Science, write that the philosophy of science is, the philosophy of science is, all reflective thinking about problems concerning everything about the foundation of science and the relation of science to all aspects of human life. If I uh, use this, statement for philosophy of computer science then philosophy of computer science is all reflective thinking about problem concerning everything about the foundation of computer science and the relation of computer science to all aspect of human life okay so if i try to define philosophy of common science and using this statement according to Teliang Nghi about philosophy of science, then I change science by common science, then it says is all reflective thinking about problem concerning everything about the, the foundation of computer science and the relation of computer science to all aspects of human life. Okay, please think about this, think about this. Okay. Now, foundation of science include 
basic concept, basic assumption, beginning principle, theoretical structure, and measure of scientific truth. Okay. This is an algorithm of science philosophy, philosophy of science, theory of science, metaphysics, methodology, science of science, and so on. And Dr. Karnat used the term science of science, which were for finalized by the analysis and description of the sciences from various point of view in logic, anthropology, social, and history of science. If I try to change science by computer science, then the analysis and description of the computer sciences from various point of view, including logic, methodology, sociology, and history of computer science. See. So from this, you will get a very, very important idea about the philosophy of computer science, okay? Because, you know, Rappaport say, yeah, Rappaport say, what is it? Oh. Rappaport say that philosophy of X, philosophy of X, as the study of the fundamental assumption and main goal of any discipline X. If you put X as a common science, then, okay, so according to Liangi, the of science, please, X is science. So, philosophy of X, X is science. Here, Teliangi uh, right. Okay? Okay? So, if you change a science by common science, then you will get your definition of philosophy of, science, of common science according to Teliangi. Also, according to Rappaport, philosophy of X. Okay? Mm -hmm. Division of division of philosophy of science are Robert Ackerman, Cornelis Benyame, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, you can read it in the Pangantar Elmo Hotel Yangi, page number 57. Some opinion about science, Robert Ackerman statement. What is science? It is sometimes said that the aim of science is to control nature and sometimes that it is to understand nature, according to Robert Ackerman. According to Francis Bacon, the real and legitimate goal of the sciences is the endowment or donation to a human life with new invention and riches. Human life, human life, human life. Okay. Be careful, human life. Jakob Bronowski, the end of science, the end of science is to discover what is true about the word? What is true about the word? The activity of science is directed to seek the truth and it is judged by the criterion of being true to the fact. Okay. This is what they call science. Then you have to know what we call computer science. Okay. Michael Martins, the major goal of science is achieving scientific understanding of the word. Achieving scientific understanding of the word. Edwin Seligman's 
the objective of sciences is analysis and understanding. William Good and Paul Hart put suddenly uh, the sole purpose of science is to understand the world in which men live. Hey, hey, men live. Okay. Alfred Peters, the nominal objective of any scientific enterprise, scientific effort, is to extend knowledge of some part of the world. Okay, so this is the opinion about science. Okay, so this is a summary. Philosophy consists of three major branches, namely ontology, epistemology, and axiology. I think I already talking about this uh, now in in uh, my lectures before. <clears throat> okay, now I try to compare this idea from. Andrew Termojo in his book Filsafat and Pengetahuan Alam from the Open University. Knowledge is everything we know. Knowledge is everything we know. It is true or false. I don't care. It is hope or whatever. It is knowledge. Okay, so the sources of knowledge are the five senses. You use your eyes, you use your ear, you use your uh, ear, and so on and so on. The five senses. Mind. By thinking, one can acquire knowledge that is almost infinite your brain, your mind, then you will get knowledge. Maybe you just uh, think about something. And then third, revelation or why you. Okay. And then intuition, your intuition. A combination of thought and feeling arises without realizing it. Okay? So this is the sources of knowledge according to Andrew Tarmojo in his book, Filsafat and Pengetahuan Alam, edition from Open University, Universitas Terbuka. Uh, so, so science is knowledge that is organized systematically and its achievements are justified theoretically. So science is knowledge that has been verified through the scientific method. So this is different between science and knowledge. So actually, science is knowledge, but, but it has been verified through the scientific method. So what is scientific method? You can see if you write the script C. Okay. This is another resources. So this is another source is, and then uh, to compare with uh, Termojo, yeah, I try to compare with the idea from Andrew Termojo about, about the source of the knowledge here. Yeah, one, the five senses, 
hard factual and concrete five senses factual and concrete okay and then second mind concrete as well as abstract there is the result of thought can be here so my my mythos philosophy science revelation intuition this is another uh, sources you know which i try to compare that Andrew Dermacho presented in his book. Almost the same. Almost the same. Okay. So, what is the meaning of science? Science is part of knowledge. So, science is knowledge that has been verified by means of the scientific method. Note that knowledge, note that knowledge is all that we know regardless of right or wrong don't care is right or wrong don't care it is knowledge okay where science limits it to what is right after being out of scientific testing okay after you uh, make some sort of research or or as they or whatever then you will get science so your script is a science your thesis is a science your decision is a science because this is what that what do you know about something maybe it's true maybe it's wrong then you try to uh, uh, that's, that's it, using a scientific method, then you will get a conclusion. So the conclusion, you, it means that this is a science. Okay, this is a science. Before, before, it is a knowledge. I don't know if it is true, it is true or, true or wrong. But if you are after you tested it using a scientific method, then you will get conclusion that this is a science. Okay. There are three truths. What is truth? First, truth of science. Something is considered true if it is viewed good deductively and inductively as true. View deductively from general to special. True mean reasonable, while inductive from specific to general. True is meant in accordance with reality. So it is often called objective, meaning the accordance with the object. It is truth of science. And then truth of philosophy or philosophical truth, which measure or criterion of truth is based on logic or reason. Based on logic or reason. That is why, that is why mathematics a tool to understanding about philosophy. Okay? Do you remember? Mm. The method used to test the truth is by using analogical logic. This is analogic logic that you can get in informatical logic lesson. Okay, so this is philosophical truth. This is the example of analytic logic. Statement one, premise. All student of computer science, sorry, all student of computer science study program take the computer science philosophy course. Okay. This is a statement. Must be true. All students of common science 
a computer science study program, take the computer science philosophy course. All students of take the computer science philosophy course. Is it true? Because this is premise or this statement. And there are another statement or premise. Suto is a student of computer science study program. We know that Suto is a student of computer science study program. It is true. So, true premises that is our student blah blah blah, Suto is blah blah blah. So, we have two statements, two promises. If the two statements above are true, and I'm sure that is true, then it can be concluded based on logic that we have the statement third, a conclusion that Suto took the computer science philosophy course. It must be true. This is true. That statement three must be true. Because I use an, an analogical logic. I use a logic. I conclude this statement from two statements or two prem premises that is our student of blah, blah, blah. Suto is blah, blah, blah. And we conclude that Suto took the computer science philosophy course. And then the last statement must be true. This is true according to philosophical truth. Because I use the analytical logic. And then you will study about this in Informatica Logica. Here's another example. To these studies, I just take uh, name T. To these studies, T. Then, to T does not fail the computer science philosophy exam. It means that to T pass in the examination. We call it U. If to T does not play basketball, so if play was B, but does not play, so not B. Then to the study is A. To the fail the computer science philosophy exam, so not you. So we have three premises. Three premises. From this three premises or three proposition or three statement, then we are going to conclude that to the press basketball is it true? To the press bas basketball true? Let's try to use the logic symbol, something like that. T arrow you mean that if P if to the studies then to the pass exam you premise. If, if Tuti doesn't play basketball, not B, then T, then Tuti studies, premise second. Tuti fail the computer A. Tuti fail the computer science review exam, so not you, premise. Okay. From three promise, then I use uh, logic. Then from uh, premise number one and premise number three, that is T implies you and not you, then we have not true. It is modus pon modus ponen, not modus componen, modus ponen, yeah. modus ponen, bukan componen, yeah. This is wrong. Not this ponen. Okay? Not this ponen. And then 
the last one uh, 5p must spawn n 2 and 4 so because this is p is play basketball then the argument is valid okay the argument is valid it means that 2t plays basketball is true according to three premises okay then the third pragmatic truth before you so know that we have a verse first we have a truth of science truth of philosophical and then truth of pragmatic the criterion of truth used in the in the is is the function or failure of statement intended for human life. So pragmatism can accept both science and physical truth as long as they function for practice life. So it means that if something is very useful for human life, then it is true. Okay. The truth based on analogical logic is also called the truth of coherence. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. In the, in the, in the, uh, uh, the criterion of truth, the criterion of truth use is the criterion of truth use is the function or failure of the intended of the statement intended for human life. Okay, so promise is very very important here because you know the important thing is the function for practical life is is good. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know. Okay, you can read it yourself. Because science, science review can be formed of the process like site as well as term of output. Scientific review, science, science review can be from the process site as well as the term in term of output in term of the process it means how to get the knowledge while in term of output it's mean from the result of the process or the collection of knowledge obtained okay so science review can be from the process side as well as in term of output. If in term of the process, it means how to get the knowledge. While in term of output, it is meant from the result of the process or the collection of knowledge obtained. So in term of Output, it can be seen from the characteristic of science, namely objective, methodic, systematic, universe. Okay? Universal. So, science review can be from the process side, CC processnya, as well as in term of output keluarannya production okay in term of process it means how to get the knowledge i think how to get the science how to get the science knowledge knowledge is good science okay how to get the science well, in terms of output, it means from the result of the process or the collection of knowledge obtained. I think it must be corrected. It means how to get the knowledge, not the knowledge, 
how to get the science. Okay, from the knowledge, I think. How to get the science from the knowledge. This process using uh, what kind of method do you use? Okay. So in terms of output, that is the production. Yeah, it must be objective. Or it must be a science must be in accordance with the object with the object methodic obtain it by means of certain orderly and restraints. Systematic scientific knowledge must be structured in a system. Do not stand alone with another with one another related, explain each other and so on. Universal generally accepted. Okay. In terms of output the science. Science must be in accordance with its object. Remember, science and knowledge are quite different according to uh, Android module. Okay? Knowledge, maybe it is true or maybe it's wrong. But if you already tested it using a uh, scientific method, then you will get the science. Okay, so please be careful with this. This also one of the qualities of science. <laughs> science, the knowledge of science is that the material knowledge must be obtained through. So the material science must be obtained through the scientific method from knowledge. So how to obtain that knowledge, that science, to determine whether the science is scientific or not, has for the step in sentimental in other as first this is this is the scientific method problem formulation what is meant by the problem here is the question of what why how about the object under study this problem must have clear up and raise the factor that it if you try to make a script C then you must read it then hypothesis formulation, what is meant by hypothesis is a statement that shows possible answer to solve a predetermined problem. So a hypothesis is an assumption that is supported by existing knowledge. Hypotheses are also temporarily answered to problems that must be verified in an observation or, or experimentation. And then the third hypothesis testing. First time to collect fact relevant to the hypothesis that has been proposed to me to show whether this fact can be obtained through direct observation with the idea or through relevant tools or through the trial or experiment, then this fact collected with the senses. So with the revealing conclusion, this conclusion is based on assessment through analysis of the fact to see whether the proposal is accepted or rejected. The hypothesis can be accepted if the crack support the hypothesis statement. Otherwise, it is rejected. If the hypothesis is accepted, then the conclusion is silent. Okay? So that's all. So this is the second. Ask the second. Before, ask the first. Now, task second. What condition must be met for a set of knowledge to be called science? Explain this condition. Be careful. Condition, not the process how to get science. Okay? What is, is quite different. What is a uh, scientific method to get a set uh, to get a science from knowledge. This is another question. Okay, this is the condition. Okay, so what different? Try to explain the reason why there is separation of science from philosophy. Why you know that. 
that philosophy and science before is identical, but but sometimes separate from the philosophy because they have they they have their own object, their own method, and so on and so on and so on. So please try to explain the reason why there is separation of science from philosophy. The third, less the characteristic of philosophical thinking. Just less the characteristic. You don't have to explain. Four, what caused the branches of philosophy to rise? And state the three causes and explanates what cause of Francis of philosophy to rise. Why? Why Francis of philosophy arise? Why? What is the reason why? And then state three causes of them and explain it's of them, okay? And that's what hedonism is a school or stream of flow or aliran in the issue of values. Explain what hedonism is. Okay, so this is the second task. Submit as soon as possible, okay? Okay, it's time up, so already nine o'clock, so I stop until here. So next week, I would like to talk about philosophy of technology in the fifth courses, in the fifth lectures, okay? So we have already uh, week one, two, three, four. And then next week, I would like to talk about philosophy uh, technology according to ED. And then in uh, six, seven, that's all. Okay, any question? Okay, thank you very much. Till next week, we are talking about the technology, uh, philosophy of technology. So, no, already talking about philosophy and science. So, next, the sex, I would like to talk about uh, what is the relation between technology and uh, philosophy of technology and philosophy and another philosophy. Okay, so I would like to talk about that. Okay, thank you very much. Till next week. Good morning or was it good day? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to teach you for this. I don't so anymore. You want to? You want to? You want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm going to do Yeah. <laughs>
Terima kasih, Pak. Ya, sama-sama.